mirror text effect. From your effects library you can grab a textured background and make it about 3 seconds long. Leave it on your timeline and then create a fusion composition with the same length. Go to fusion page, add a text node and connect it to your media out. You can name that text node as you wish, change the font, size and customize it as you wish. Then you can add a transform node between the text and the media out, then highlight this transform node and move the text a tiny bit up from here. That way I'm leaving some space from the reflection. Next up we have to copy this text by holding out. So I'm making a duplicate of the same text. I'm renaming it so that I know this is the reflection and I'm leaving it on the left viewer by pressing number one on the keyboard. Then I'm creating a new transform node. Then I'm highlighting the second transform and I'm flipping it vertically like this. Then I'm connecting it to my first transform which is creating our merge node. And now I'm leaving just one viewer. I'm highlighting my second transform and I'm bringing it down from here. This is going to be my reflection of the text. While my mirror text is highlighted, I'm selecting the rectangle. And while the rectangle is highlighted, I'm adjusting the size of that rectangle to make sure that it's fitting all of my text. Then I'm moving the timeline marker in the beginning of our first frame, right here. And while my rectangle is above my main text, I'm creating a keyframe on center right here. Then I'm moving forward in the timeline around here. And now I'm changing the Y values so I can make sure that this rectangle is going down. And while this rectangle is going down, it is slowly revealing our mirror text. I forgot to mention that you can increase the soft edge. That way your reflection is going to be faded in the end without having a hard cut. And to make it even smoother, you can add the blur node after your transform 2 node. So I'm highlighting my transform. I'm pressing Control space to open the toolbox and I'm adding a blur node and highlighting the blur going in the inspector. I'm increasing the tiny bit the size of the blur. Also you can check out this video right here, I'm pretty sure you're gonna like it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.